mentor can i teach graphology can i become a trainer can i become the person who uh, will educate people because it has changed my life immensely by that time so i wanted a similar thing to happen to a lot of people who are unaware about themselves unaware about their mindset and all so i asked him and what he said was so that if you really want to do good in graphology what you need is you need something of your own you know something which nobody owns and you have to be unique you have to have something of your own so with that thought i came back and i started searching for something you know, i i was not aware what that something is so every day i used to pray i used to think i used to do r and d that i need to have something which will be of my own unique very very unique so one day when i was doing a meditation in uh, the balcony because we had a huge uh, flat among ourselves we had four five roommates were there uh, so i went to the balcony i used to do a meditation over there and i started doing meditation and all of a sudden it flashed into my mind okay there is something there is some connection between the wrist watch i hope the language is compatible with all of you if not let me know agar aap hindi mein bolna chahte ho to main hindi mein bhi baat kar sakta hu theek hai so uh, something flashed and I, then i realized there is some connection between the wrist watch and the way your life is i thought it is a funny idea you know i and because it flashed in the uh, mind and even i was eager to find something new i said let's check it out so i went to my roommates and i told them i had this insight about the wrist watch let's let's try it on you guys so i analyzed their wrist watches and it it happened to be very very true so then the journey started and then occasionally i used to do a lot of research analysis among my peers you know the people who were learning graphology by at that time and every single time it was bang on but i never took it very very seriously so i wrote a blog about it which got a huge response or approximately 78 people the commented on it okay it is happening in their life this is this and that and so many things so uh 2010 2011 went like that and in 2012 i was you know i was traveling with uh, our group who has went to do some kind of analysis to one uh, exhibition and while coming back one lady who was sitting with me she asked me that sudhir sir i i heard about your research analysis can what can you tell about me so i said what do you do with the, your research what kind of research you have so what she said that i don't how in this watch right now but i wear the this watch when i am with my husband jab main mere pati ke sath rehti hu to hi main ye pehenti then obviously my the next question was where do you go with your husband and then she said i go to rb gathering and then i said okay that when you are with your husband or when you go to the gatherings of you with with the in the gathering with your husband you tend to get involved with the people and you try to find some kind of connect some kind of relationship going with the army ka background people so she said yes absolutely too rest of the places i don't care who the person is but when it comes to those gatherings i make sure that i remember names i remember people and i really put you know that as a priority for myself so with this analysis it gave me a lot of confidence because it was too much accurate you know too much accurate then then a lot of other people also asked me about a similar kind of uh, analysis and i did and that analysis was also true so again one thing was sure by that time that yes research analysis works but how much is it how much is the worth of this so i started teaching without cost free of cost to a lot of people till 2017 in 2017 i started to you know have this uh, atmosphere wherein i can teach and i i was struggling to find students i had no students for graphology you know every time people used to come in two or three numbers so uh, to teach two, uh, two or three people it, it was very difficult so uh, one of my friends suggested why don't you teach something very different you know uh, i said what it should be so he said you are known to be a person who do a research analysis can you teach that uh there you can get a good audience because nobody else is teaching that i said why not 
you know, let's let's give it a try. How many people you can bring? Because he was one of my close friend, and he used to be a a person who used to conduct classes or at least help people to conduct classes. So he said, I have ten people, and you bring on your own. So he said he has a ten people, and I started doing marketing of my own. And then the day came where we were supposed to teach, and he called me in the morning, and the session was at eleven o'clock, and he said that Sudhi. Uh, all the people who has who had said yes to your class are not coming. So there I was, zero from his side, and I was not sure how many will turn up from my side. You know because not many people had paid up. But fortunately, uh, seven eight guys came. He had to brought his uh, wife to the workshop, and I taught for around approximately three four hours. The rest were analysis to them, and few of them. gate crash you know they just walked in at the last moment and we took the interview after the workshop and they said they felt amazing and i was able to teach to that length as well four hours of this watch i've said wow you know this is something very unique so that was the first workshop then again i thought that it doesn't have the element it doesn't have the depth you know the kind of graphology or astrology or other things have so i should not be teaching it more because we had charged how much i thought i think 1500 it was, was the fee of that uh but uh, then uh, i was just teaching like this you know 3000 2000 and 3 hours workshop 5 hours workshop 8 hours workshop then one of the lady uh from lebanon she called me and she said she wants to learn it one on one one on one 10 10 lectures she wanted one on one learnings 10 A lectures of two hours that would that would go to twenty five hours approximately, and I was scared because I was not aware that where I have that much of data to teach, because till that time I had the maximum I had taught was around eight hours, and there, I said, okay, but you will have to pay me approximately. I had I asked her twenty five hundred dollars. Is it will be uh, how much it would be around. Uh, Uh, approximately twenty four hundred will be uh, two lakhs. Approximately two lakhs. So I asked her two lakhs. She said no, no, this is too much. Uh, I would give you twelve hundred dollars. Okay, that would come approximately eighty four, eighty five thousand was the thing. And uh, I said yes, okay, great, let's do it. And with a lot of reluctancy in my mind, whether I will be able to sustain for twenty hours, I started teaching. and then she asked me lot of questions and every time she asked me questions i got something new about the wristwatch analysis then she she had the watches worth rupees 35 lakhs 25 lakhs 20 lakhs 3 crores and when i did the analysis again and again again and again it became refined and i got to know a unique elements about the the wristwatch analysis and there once that was over you know how much she paid at the end she paid me 1.5 lakhs in total to learn that science from me not only we had 10 class we approximately had uh, you know the more number of classes more number of hours as well so there i got a lot of confidence because now i had a lot of data the things which i had never thought about and she checked she rechecked she gave me the feedback with this work this work this work and this works so then we started this a uh, rest watch at a big level you know we started teaching at higher cost for more number of hours and then uh, us people joined ghana us dubai uk they those people joined me and we finished our lectures and we used to take supporting workshop by that time why because supporting workshop i used to learn more because every time if somebody asks something new i have got something new to answer and one of the participant from america us she gave the compliment that during the uh, pandemic you know their visas were getting cancelled and she and her friends used a wrist watch therapy because she she was a student she gave a, a di- different kind of wrist watch to 14 of her friends and the visa was not cancelled you know they got their visa back within 15 days whereas the rest of the crew of their class of their campus they got their visa cancelled and i said wow man it really works at this level because i had taught it but i was never aware that it has that much of depth then some of the people called and they said they were able to sell their flat some of the people said they were able to increase their business one of the person 
to whom I had suggested the, the wall clock, that person called me after one month and said, Sudhiru, you will not believe what is happening. I said, what? He said that I have started getting students and that too in the number of hundreds. I said, wait, wait, what I had told you. So he said, okay, this was the watch you recommended me. You will not believe it. Next day I went to the market and I bought the similar kind of watch for myself because I also wanted in better clients. And I said, this is not done, man. That, person, that guy is getting so much, I am not getting. So again, that one, I also got the people in, in the number of hundreds. So it is working for me. It is working for other people. And that is how these, the science has become the therapy now. So it, has, it, it will help you to increase, have a better health for you. It will help you to have better finances, better client, better relationship. You know, it can also prevent divorces. If you are go, undergoing that, if you have a bad relationship with people around you, it can improve that. If you have, if you want a promotion, you know, I gave that therapy for a promotion. Person got a promotion and he called me, you know, Ganesh Autade. He called me, so there is something really great is going to happen. I am going to get promotion. Uh, it happened within the four months of the wristwatch therapy to him. So this is this has given me a lot of confidence to start, you know, conduct regular batches and uh, the kind of demand it has right now that we have decided to take the batches uh, on a regular basis instead of giving a two three months gap, which we which we used to do. So what is wristwatch analysis and why it works? That is a question which will be there in your mind, all of you know. This is a question, right? Everyone has this question. Why it works and what is this watch analysis? Am I right or wrong? How many of you have this question that what is it and how it works? Yeah, so many, yes, great. So what is time basically? Yeah, so many things, wow, very nice. What is time? Time is everything. Initially, when there was nothing, there was only a linear line, a linear line. No manifestation, no life, nothing was there. Straightforward thing was happening, straightforward, nothing, nothing, nothing new. Then that line wanted to experience something, that energy, that divinity, whatever you call it, you know, that wanted to experience something. So it took a bend. It took a bend. It changed its path. And that curve, that bend, manifested the entire life. And that curve is a feminine energy. That is why when you get birth, the way you have, the way the things happens to you, you call it as a uni. Why? Because that is a source of new creation. You also got birth from the uni because that is the source of creation. So that curve was a feminine energy. That's why you find the male with the straighter bodies and female with the curvier bodies. And the more the female, more the curvier female is, more you think them as the person who can deliver good babies. Okay. So that curve manifested everything. And that is why when you measure time, when the first time anyone thought of measuring the time, it thought of the curve. It measured the way they measured the time was a circle. You know, you have circular watches because everything is everything which is dependent on time or the time bound things are all in circular nature your your sir you know, the earth revolves around the sun earth revolves around itself moon revolves around the earth all these are what circular motion you know? so curvier lines curvier lines everywhere there is a curve so the universe manifested because of the time so whatever you have in your life in terms of space, walk over in space, for example, your body, fridge, refrigerator, or AC, everything, everything which has the exist existence on this earth, it's like three dimensional thing, are time bounded. It has the time element attached to it. If you don't have any physical existence, you don't have to think about time. Time and space are nothing but one and the same thing. It means what? It means, your manifestation and time is a one and same thing. So the one device which is going to manifest in your life is the wristwatch because it shows the time. Your time up marjatyo because of the time khatam ho jata hai. Time and your life are one and the same thing. So 
the device which is going to show you the time is actually going to control your life. What about the people who don't wear it? That is the question a lot of people ask. You know, what about the people who don't wear wristwatch? What it means? See, when you wear a wristwatch, what, exa what exactly happens to you? When you wear a wristwatch, you tend to commit your life, your deeds, and your thoughts to the things. The commitment level of the people who wear the wristwatch will be always high compared to the people who don't wear the wristwatch, given the similar kind of personality. Because wristwatch shows your commitment to their life. You see, the people who wear wristwatch on a regular basis, they make sure that they call their friends, they check up on the things, they want to be involved all the time in the activities which are happening. All of you wear wristwatch on a regular basis, isn't it true? That you will like to be connected with the people, you like to call people, you like to make sure that what is happening to them. Whereas the person who doesn't wear a wristwatch, what happens to him? He connects whenever he wants to connect. He doesn't unnecessarily call people. He doesn't unnecessarily go and check up, check up on the people. He is a, like a person who will, will not feel awkward if he has long pause between the relationship or between the things. It's like he just continues from where he has left. All the people who are not wearing the choice, isn't it true for you? You don't feel awkward with the, for, for talking to somebody uh, who is not been talking to you from, uh, with whom you are not in connect from long, long, you know, or many days, you know, it's like you just go and start talking with them with a lot of comfort. Yeah, yes. So this is what the more commitment and less commitment. See, Nita is saying very true for my husband. So wrist watch will always show your commitment to the life. Now, what else we are? We now we, what we have? Yeah, see, the people who don't wear wrist watch regularly, they don't feel awkward for psyching a conversation with the old friend with whom they are not in connect. But whereas the person who doesn't wear or the person who wears the wristwatch for him, if he is not talking to the person on a regular basis, he feels guilty. He feels he's not committed to the relationship. He feels he's not committing to the task. Even if he doesn't do the task, he feels guilty. The wristwatch wearing people, if they don't get up at the right time, they feel guilty. Because that was the commitment of them with themselves. So the more commitment they fail, they feel guilty. You know, they want to be committed. Yeah. Harish Raj is saying, yes, Sudhir, you are right. So this is how now this wristwatch has many, many more aspects like uh, the size, the belt, the colors, the, the digits, the Roman digits, the doors, the dashes. Uh, some wristwatches will have seconds, you know, instead of the numbers. Yeah. Jagdish, even I don't wear it since last two decades. So Jagdish for Jagdish, he just goes and does his work, you know, he doesn't bother. It's like he has very rationalized view towards the life. It's like he is not being uh, pressurized or, you know, uh, pressurized by the, those thoughts of uh, negativity of, uh, okay, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, you know. He is, a, he is very rational. Yes or no, Jagdish? You are a very, very rational kind of person. It's like you look at the things the way they are. You know, you don't have any kind of baggage when you look at the things. Yeah. See, I don't bother about anything. That, that is what I'm talking, you know. But believe me, guys. Now, what, where is the, where is the uh, charm in this entire thing is? Whether you wear or don't wear that, I don't care about that. First thing, if you are wearing a, wearing a bad kind of watch, if you are wearing a bad kind of watch, what will happen to you? you will have troubles in your life. Okay. For example, how many of you are wearing the Apple Watch? About Apple Watch, if I have to say, what is the problem with the Apple Watch? Apple Watch people find it difficult to manifest their dreams faster. It's kind of, they always get delayed. They, their dreams will go and 
it's like we, they will push back all the time. They don't have manifestation, faster manifestation of the things. Their, their dreams get delayed. Okay. So that is a bad kind of watch. Now, why Apple is not suitable for the people who uh, want to have faster manifestation in life? That you will have to learn. That you have to learn definitely. But the thing is, if you are wearing, wearing a bad watch, it may cost you a lot of money, a lot of uh, growth. And if you are wearing a good watch, it will augment your process of having the faster manifestation, faster results. Now, some of the, one of the persons said that I don't wear a wristwatch and I'm successful. We are not talking about success or failure. We are talking about what will happen if you wear this kind of watch. What will happen if you wear this kind of watch? Uh, what will happen if you have a digital watch? What will happen if you have the analog and digital watch combined? Now, how many of you wear the wristwatch on the left hand side? Left side of the hand, how many of you? Pradnya, Darpan, and what about the people? Ashvi, Harsh, Manish, Pushpajit, yeah. So all these people who wear the wristwatch on the left side are the people who are feminine in nature. They understand emotion. They feel comfortable talking to the uh, girls, ladies, mothers, you know, they, they are comfortable. You know, they can make uh, emotions feel comfortable. Ladies feel comfortable in their, they feel, you know, see Manali says, Nita says, and Nita says, right, okay. So all these people who wear the wristwatch on left will have better relationship with the female, with the feminine side. Whereas the people who wear the wristwatch on the right side, surprisingly, they have better relationship with the masculine energy. That is father, brother, males in general. They feel comfortable in those kind, the presence of those kind of people. And those people feel comfortable with them. So Shriyashi, nowadays, there, there would be, you would be talking more with the Muscular energy and your relationship with masculine people will be better compared to the feminine one. When you had a feminine one, if you left hand, the more emotions, more feminine person will come into your connect. It doesn't matter what is your gender. If you are wearing down left, that will happen to you. If you are wearing on the right, this will happen to you. So there are so many ways, you know, these are the basic, very, very, uh, you know, uh, what I can say is like a basic kind of stuff wherein you are not getting much about how exactly can you uh, attain your own dreams, your own goals, your own aspiration, what do you have about the life, how exactly you can manifest all those things. But if you see now, somebody saying, I don't use a wristwatch. I'm sure that you might be using a ring, right? Somebody, some of you might be having the ring. It also has a meaning. Some of you might be wearing the ear, uh, what is this? Uh, what do you call it as? Your ring. It also has a meaning, which we are going to teach you in this workshop. There is a chance that you, some of you might be wearing this nose ring, or some of you have this thread along your body. Jan, uh, what do you call it as? Janva or what? You call it as something, right? The thread along your body, along your uh, vest. Some of you might be having you, you know, tying some kind of, uh, yeah, Janu, yeah, right? Some of you might be tying something to your wrist. Some of you might be having kada. All these things have a meaning. And what is the meaning? And whether those things are helping you or not. If you are not getting bigger client, if you are not getting a right client, if, you're, you, if your client is not paying you right, if your work is getting spoiled all the time, we have a wristwatch or we have a therapy which can help you to get out of it, to get out of those kind of troubles. And we have already, already have taught hundreds of people. And those people have, are getting results. Those people have experienced the result. How many of you have seen the videos of testimonial, no? the student's testimonial, other testimony which we have? How many of you have seen it? Yeah, few of them. Let me, let me show you to make you aware how amazing it is.
so whatever your problem is you know what we have we have seen that wrist watch can solve that problem by giving a right kind of signal to your subconscious mind your subconscious mind will manifest will manifest the things which is there in the wrist watch So now uh, let me show you a testimonial which we had. This is the testimonial from the batch which we had in the May, in the month of May. After that, we have conducted three more batches. So you know May was a lockdown, so you might see me having a different kind of haircut, which we happen to do at home. So this is the best what could my wife could have managed. Okay, so this is the. This is. Let me check whether this is audible or not. Okay, I'm going to play the testimonial. Uh, whatever comments you have, you can put it in the. So yeah, there are there are a lot of watches which we want to discuss in the next workshop. Uh, today we will just revise whatever we have learned. Um, let me hear what uh, clicked you, what you like today in today's workshop, what was new for you. I will close. Okay. So, who wants to go first? Yeah, Francis here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah. yeah. So for me, was new is like the implementation of the entire session that we had, the feedback that we got, and also the revision uh, that we had, and the queries that the way you handled was fantastic. So it's like a practical session completely. So I'm looking out for your next session on logo two now. Okay. So, <laughs> That's what I would like to say. Thank you. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well. Welcome. Anyone? Sir, I like yeah, the Anjana. Yeah. Uh, I like the one which you said uh, the person wearing uh, wristwatch only during exams to connect mm. to the friends and the teachers. That was the one. Nice. Um, sir, this is Darshita here, and I wanted to say that both the days were very um, educative, and it was worth for me to stay up all night to attend the session because it's already like four o'clock in the morning here. Unbelievable. Oh. So um, it was. I was skeptical, but I feel like it was worthy of being mm. a part of it. And there were like everything was like an aha moment for me because. I never knew wristwatch analysis existed, but after today, there is a lot I can do in America now. Wow! So thank you very much, and uh, we believe in this motto of delivering. So this is the girl who gave me testimonial after two months that what exactly happened with them. Uh, you know, more than value. Whatever you, so I hope uh, this has delivered you more than what you have paid. In terms of time and and knowledge as well. Um, yes, I will agree a hundred percent because it is very much related to business psychology that I'm studying. So it will give me a lot of more insight into seeing how I can approach CEOs and employees in a very different way now, based on their wristwatches. Great. Thank you. Yeah, uh, this is Ganesh. Yeah, so I learn new thing. Mm, that is uh, wristwatch analysis. Like uh, now we can uh, have a uh, at least fifty to sixty percent idea of the whom we meet and how we can proceed with our discussions. And uh, this will give me insight uh, for what we I am trying to learn in life and why uh, in uh, which way trying to set up my business around some new areas and new learning which I am right now learning. So this will give me a perspective how we can proceed in that direction using the wristwatch analysis and how we can change the thing accordingly with uh, changing the small small things in our life. Yeah. So thanks for it. Great. Hello. Thank you. So the chance of going to meet another so what like a class some pilots may be just some like that. How? आज संपूच नहीं असं वाटत होतं सगळं तुझं कंटिन्युअस ऐका वेळा प्रश्न उत्तर वाहत होत राहावी खूप छान वाटलं मस्त आणि तू शिकवलंच खूप छान थँक्यू व्हेरी मच थँक्यू 
two three things maybe uh, firstly uh, five minutes watch fast rakhne se kitna nuksan ho sakta hai koi andaaza nahi laga sakta uh second i am getting a big uh, watch uh, with a uh, world map on it and i am going to go places absolutely i would definitely try to and the third probably the biggest point was uh, how to actually implement how to actually tell someone uh, about the characteristics that you are actually seeing because it is not very easy i know that probably black means authoritative or blue means having uh, good command but how actually i should be telling to the uh, person in front that was actually very good and i would actually like to have a few more sessions to learn as to how to actually convey to the person in front thank you so much it was wonderful thank you so much so don't 